Good morning, students. Good morning, sir. Good morning, students. Good morning, sir. Last week, we studied very well about the female reproductive system. system. And I told you this week, we are going to look deeply on male reproductive system. Can I hear you say male reproductive system? Male reproductive system. Again? Male reproductive system. Again? Male reproductive system. Good. Male reproductive system and female reproductive system are virtually similar. But the only difference is about their methodology, about their control, about their ages. That is why we have similarities and difference in male and the female reproductive, reproductive system. system. Like we have here, if you can remember, we have similar structure in the female reproductive system. What do we call this in the female reproductive system? Breast. 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 I didn't hear you. What do we call it? Breast. Good. You people are paying attention. We call it the breast. breast. But in male reproductive system, you cannot call it the breast. It is called the chest. Can I say chest? Chest. 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 Do you know why we call it Chest. No, it does not produce milk. Whatever that produces milk is what we call the breast. But for the fact this doesn't produce milk, you cannot call it the breast. It's called abobi. Can I say abobi once again? Abobi. Also, abobi. Again, look here. Do you know why I didn't love it here? No, sir. No, sir. Good. So many professors we call this nipple. You can call it nipple when it comes to female reproductive system. But when you come to male reproductive system, you don't call it nipple. I will explain. Do you know why? Nipple is a tip. In the breast, where milk is excreted. Does this excrete milk? No. Sir. I didn't hear you. Does this excrete milk? No. Sir. So you don't call it nipple. nipple. It only has a satisfied Igbo name. That is, we call it the obatete. Can I say obatete? Obatete. Again. Obatete. Again. Obatete. Again. Obatete. Good. There is no English name for this, but we, the Igbo professors, have been able to get a name for it. It is called Obatiti because during reproduction, if a woman eventually holds you here, she'll be turning it. What's the next action? What's the next action? That is why it is called Oba. Can I hear you say Oba Titi? Oba Titi. Again. Oba Titi. Again. Oba Titi. Oba Titi. Oba Titi. Anytime a woman eventually holds you here, Two of them, you are God. Wow. That is why I tell people that reproduction in male starts from here. Because if a woman holds you here, that is when you see a man promising anything he cannot do. If a woman holds you here, don't talk. If you talk, you are God. Wow. This is where you have to promise school fees, house rent, everything, iPhone 15, iPhone 16. So reproduction in male it starts here. It is called the Obatete. Can I say once more about it? Obatete. We... We treated this in the female reproductive system. You know it already. It is called the never. Now let's go to the male action bombing in male reproductive system. Everybody pay attention. This part is coming out in the exam. Your exam is coming out next week. This part is going to come out in your exam. Listen very well. When you look at here, there is an opening. That is called the urinary excretion. Can I say urinary excretion? Urinary excretion. Again? Urinary excretion. Ibo bai na bi ona mu kono ona mu. Ona mu. Ona mu. Ona mu. Ozo. Ona mu. Ozo. Ona mu. That the all it is from here that we have places like onu mu onu this. That is why we call it onu gene. Amu. Now look here. This is called the scrutum. Can I say scrutum? Scrutum. Anybody that is mentioning here and smiling is not getting a, the name correctly. You have to squeeze your face. Scrutum. 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 Again. Scrutum. Again. Scrutum. Good. In Igbo, we call it Akwamo. Everybody say Akbamo. 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 There is something we need to understand. You can call this Akbamo because of the size. But when it is ever bigger than this, Watch. It will no, be, no more be abamo. It will be what we call a chakamo. Can I say a chakamo? A chakamo. Oh, shaka shaka ya. Oh, shaka shaka ya. A chakamo. A chakamo. A chakamo. Oni takoche. Oni takoche. Oni Yeah, that is why when you see Annie Dom playing, he has to go with a very big chakamo. 
That is why when this is big, you call it what? Itakamu. Can I say once more Itakamu? Itakamu. Again. Itakamu. Again. Itakamu. Onabakwa. Onabasa. Now, let's go to the man, man. Look at it here. Do you see the whole of this drawing? Yes, sir. The whole of this drawing is called the penis. Let me hear it say penis. 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 Do you know why I love teaching reproduction in Igbo? No, sir. Because it is Igbo that will give you the real meaning, the real production of what it is. In Igbo language, you can call this of a boy that is two years penis and the man who is 50 years penis. Do you say it's wrong? Yes. No. So in Igbo, the name differs according to the age, the function, and its methodology. That is why when you have a child from a year to 10 years, it is called Ntanta. Let me hear you say Ntanta. 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 From 10 years to 25 years, you can no more call it Ntanta. The name is changing. That time, it is called the Amo. Can I hear you say Amo? Amo. 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 Amoya, 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 Amoya. By that time, it has started functioning, visiting places, doing some things, noticing, having sensation. That is when you call it the Amo. From 25 years to 45, the name will change. You can never call it the Amo again. It has a call the Utu. Can you say Utu? Utu. 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 By this stage, it must have visited so many places, done so many things, in search and going out, going in and going out. That is why it is called the Utu. Let me tell you, say Utu once more. Utu. 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 Now, from 45 years to 85 years. By that time, it has to be leaving the family, going to different, different families, going outside, visiting other families, performing his function duties. The now we change from Utu to what we call Ojemba. Can I hear you say Ojemba? Ojemba. 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 The last stage of this is from 85, maybe to 100, to 150, depending on how long you want to stay on this X. By that time, it must have been finished. It is very tired. It finds it difficult to perform its duty, depending on its power. It is no more called the Ojemba. It will be called the Oshonkoto. Can I say Oshonkoto? Oshonkoto. 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 Did you see how I'm performing it? It is tired. Watch me. Oshonkoto. 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 That is when we have the Oshonkoto from 85 to 100 to... 200. Did you understand what I'm teaching? Yes, sir. On Abakwa. On Abakwa. On Abasa. Any questions so far? Yes, sir. Okay. What's the question? Sir, um, that, uh, that thing that is divided into two. Yes, yes. Yeah? Please. Okay, okay. What is inside? Because it's big. What is inside? Is okay, big? yeah. It is has a general name. It is called the scrutum. Can I say scrutum? Scrutum. 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 You are not getting it. I told you when you are pronouncing here and your face is smiling, you are not getting it. You have to bone. This is a sensitive part in matter pronouncing. Scrutum. 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 Good. The thing inside here are two eggs. If you don't have it, you're dead. You cannot perform as a man. Yeah. That means to tell you it is necessary in production. This is called the aquamo. Can I say aquamo? Aquamo. 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 The Ojembe Winro. Good, good. You see that the penis is not straight. Instead, the mouth is curved like it's bent. What is the cause of the bending? Honestly, um, what is your name? Uh, my name is Anne. Okay, I would have said let the class clap for you because this question you asked, listen very well, it must come out in your exam. Your exam is starting next week. So listen very well. Thank you for your question. This can be straight or curved some women like it curved some like it 
thread. Yeah. But this particular one is curved. When it's curved, it has a different name. Because when it's curved, during performance in reproduction, it has to be moving to a place that is not supposed to move. Moving to different directions, thereby breaking yokes, breaking barriers, entering to a place you don't expect. That is why we call it Okwarozone. But can I say Okwarozone? Okwarozone. Okwarozone. So when it is threat, you can call it the Utu or the Ojemba. But when it is bent, you know what to call it? Oh, what do you call it? Oh, Again, oh, remember it is coming out in your exams. Any more questions we retire for today? Yeah. Um, those hairs that that is here. Yes. And here too. And here. Uh, Good. And that young man that that is wearing a scarf. Here. Yes. Good. What is it called? Thank you so much. What's your name again? Roro. Okay, Prophet Roro. Thank you for your question. You, this shows that you're paying attention. Here is not all that important in reproduction. Do you get? This place is not all that important. Many people don't use it, but due to development of what is happening that, this time around, some women use it to start reproduction. Because sometimes a woman will touch you here and touch you here. What is your reaction when a woman touches you here? <laughs> is reproduction not starting? Yes. So it is also a family of Obatete. Can I say call it family of Obatete? Family of Obatete. Family of Obatete. Family of Obatete. Then you ask me a question about here. When we treated about the female reproductive system, what, would, what did we call here? Pubic hair. Pubic hair again. Pubic hair. Good. This is also pubic hair. But in the male reproductive system, so many men will go and shave here. No, it is not advisable because in reproduction it helps. Because your pubic hair, the pubic hair of the man and the pubic hair of the woman, we have to come yeah. together. And when they come together in Igbo, we call it Njakatajin. We call it Njakatajin. 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 When it jams, it helps in reproduction. You can also call it coalition of hairs. And here, finally, you asked me a question about hair, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Good. This is called the cap. Can I say cap? Cap. 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 Penis cap. Penis cap. Penis cap. Penis cap. Penis cap. In Igbo, in Igbo, by now, can I say Obuamu? Obuamu. 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 Do you know why this is the most sensitive part in reproduction? No, sir. There are some times a man will be begging a woman, because can't you know where? Let me put the cap. Can't you know where? Can't you know where? After putting the cap, you might come or you go. So it is a very important part in reproduction. Let me hear you call it again. Obuamu. 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 Obundenze. Obundenze. Okay, okay. All right. I think we have to draw our curtain for today. In our next class, we are going to study about um, the gender, types of gender, the male gender, female gender, and the other gender gender that we have. Are we good? Yes. On Abakwa. All right. Thank you very much. We call it a day. School dismissed. Away.